Hello everyone. My name is Rizya Khanum and today we shall be learning about forensic palynology. And to actually understand what forensic palynology is, we shall be considering a very basic format of what, when, where, why and how. Okay? So first of all, let us understand the term palynology itself. The word palynology means the study of pollen grains and spores and its forensic application to solve cases which might be of both civil or criminal in nature is known as forensic palynology. Now this brings us to a very fine question that why are pollen grains and spores so important to us and why are we even studying it? To answer this question we might have to look into the internal structure of a pollen grain. When a pollen grain is studied under microscope it reveals its uh, internal layers that it is composed of which is also known as the sporoderm. And this sporoderm is further divided into two parts, the inner layer intine and the outer layer exine. The inner layer or the intine is composed of cellulose and pectin, whereas the outer layer, the exine, is composed of a very special biochemical substance known as the sporopollenin. And this sporopollenin is extremely resistant to high temperatures, acids, alkalis or any sort of enzymatic activity and thus making it a very potential microfossil which can be preserved for thousands and thousands of years. Now since pollen grains are so microscopic in nature they get very easily trapped inside the carpet fibers, the cloth material, jackets or soil etc. Any, anywhere. These are actually found anywhere and everywhere and thus these are also a major reason for allergies. The very reason that these are so microscopic in nature is often neglected by the criminal and this is the reason why it is so important to us. Now the pollens that we are studying here is generally used as a corroborative evidence that is to supplement a former evidence or a primary evidence and also uh, pollen grains can be used in the cases of drug trafficking. As we all know that India is sandwiched between the Golden Crescent and the Golden Triangle, a huge inflow of illegal drugs is seen in India. And the investigation of these cases can be very easily done by pollen green analysis and the technology of pollen DNA barcoding which we shall be later uh, studying uh, in this video is very beneficial in these cases. Now let us understand the term pollen DNA barcoding. Pollen DNA barcoding is, can be simply understood uh, such as a pollen uh, is taken, it's, it is converted into its DNA form and a particular barcode is created about it. And this is generally done by amplification and sequencing of its DNA. Now how does it help? Through this analysis we get to know about the area of the particular environment that the pollen grain was within. And uh, we can also tell that has the pollen grain travelled from uh, a particular area and what was the surrounding area. So this shall be it and we will see you with our next lectures. Thank you so much.